Hello, Mad Cappers. Another great Christmas gift idea or just a gift for yourself for the cool weather ahead. I'm going to cut a piece of fleece that's a little bit less than the circumference of my head. And I have instructions on the website so that you can just download a sheet on how to measure your head and how to figure out what length you need. My depth is eight inches or 10 centimeters. And the instruction sheet also has a little template for that curve that's on either edge. And the curve is gonna come up over your forehead to make a very comfortable fit. We're gonna sew that back seam and we're gonna top stitch it down. So it's flat on both sides, leaving a very comfortable feeling against your head. Now this is the back seam. So it's the widest point of the headband, the narrowest being the bit that goes across your forehead. So once we finish doing the top stitching, we lay the piece flat and it's right side up. We're going to just envelope or enclose the rest of the headband by bringing the two back seam right sides together. We'll start on one side of our back seam, but not on the back seam. And we're gonna sew all the way around, pulling out the headband as we go so that we can make that seam. Now I'm making this seam a little bit wider than I normally do. I'm sewing it about a half an inch from the edge or 125 millimeters. And that is gonna give me some play when I go to close the opening that I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave a, a gap of about two inches once I work my way all the way around. And this is the process that I use for making most of my headbands. It's sometimes known as the burrito method. So there's my opening and I'm gonna pull that right side of the headband through. And then once I finish doing that, I'm just gonna roll the seam so there's the same amount on both sides before I close up that gap. So my opening, which is two inches or five centimeters, is going to be on one side of my back seam, but I'm going to replicate the sewing that I will use to close it on the other side of the back seam as well. So all in all, I'm gonna sew a seam of about six inches or 15 centimeters in length, and I'm gonna sew as close as I can to the edge, but still do a very neat job. So I'm using my magnetic seam measure, which I love, and I, or I could use the width of my presser foot and have it set at the edge on the right side and use that as a guide as well. So you wanna maybe use the right side of your presser foot as your guide. And then we're gonna come along and we're gonna to top stitch further inside the headband, maybe at about the half inch width or 125 millimeters. And we're gonna do that top stitching on both sides. And I'm just pinning it flat and, and I'm rolling out the seam as I go along so that I don't have any puckering and it's gonna lie nice and flat against my head. And then once I finish doing the top stitching, it's all done, it's ready to wear. And if you really wanna stand out from the crowd this winter in the gift giving department, you could make somebody a pair of the fingerless gloves, which was our last project to go with this headband. And voila, you're all set for the cool weather ahead. Now I suggest polar fleece for this fabric because it's so stretchy, it's so comfortable to wear, and it's so forgiving and easy to use when you're a beginner sewer. But just keep in mind, my fleece might be stretchier than yours, so you may have to adjust the length of the piece that goes around your head. There we go, all done. And there's the fingerless gloves. I have my set and I'm ready for the winter ahead. Please comment. Any questions, leave them below. Like and share the video. We will see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.